This video is multiplying three digits by three digits. Now, if you watch the other videos about multiplying three digits by two digits or two digits by another two digits, it's basically the same thing. Although this one, of course, has more numbers, so it's going to have an extra step. But again, the most important thing is take your time, uh, stay organized, make sure your numbers line up as best as you can. So normally um, in most math programs, oh, anyways in Quebec, uh, students do not need to know the three digits by three digits and how to do it uh, by hand. Uh, but of course, depending on your math program, you might need to know how to do this. And of course, if you'd like to challenge yourself, uh, it's always there for you just in case. So this is how you do three digit by three digit multiplication. So today we're going to do 358 times 272. And what I've done is I've changed the colors of the two and the seven here. And I'll explain why a little bit later on. Okay. So this is going to work the same way as the other ones. Like I said, there's going to be an extra step. Okay, so we're going to start the first step. We're going to do 358, and we're going to use the 2 in the 1's place here. So basically, we're doing 358 times 2. So again, just like the other videos, we're going to start uh, multiplying the 1's place and the 1's place, and then the 1's and the 10's, and the 1's and the 100's place, and so on. So here we go. 2 times 8 is 16. I'm going to put the 6 down here and the 1 up here. Then I'm going to do 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 1 is 11. And again, the first digit goes on the next uh, number at the top, and the second digit goes on the bottom. And then I'm going to do 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, which is 7. Okay, so now I just did 358 times 2, and that's 716. So now I'm going to change gears a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing and multiply the next digit, which is the 7 here. But the 7 is in the tens place. So technically, I'm not doing 358 times 7. I'm doing 358 times 70, because the 7 is in the tens place. So to get ready for that, I need to do three things. I need to get rid of the numbers that I'm not working with up here. I like to cross them out because it does really uh, help you not to get mixed up. So we're going to cross off the numbers here that we're not using. Okay. Some people like to cross off this number too. I'm going to do that because so I'm done with that. And then we also have to put a zero here for the placeholder. Now, again, some people like to put nothing there that's fine. Some people like to put the zero. It's just there to remind us that we're not working with the ones place anymore. We're actually working with the tens place. So that's what we're going to do. And that's why I'm going to change color to show you the difference <clears throat> between the two. So here we go. We're going to start multiplying the tens place. So we're going to do seven times eight, which is 56. And I put my numbers in the same position. So 56, five up here and six down here. Then I'm going to do 7 times 5, which is 35, plus 5, which is 40. And then we're going to do 7 times 3, which is 21, plus 4, which is 25. And there we go. So we just did 358, again, times 70. That's a 0 there to hold our place to let us know that we're working in the tens place. So again, same thing. Now, if I was just multiplying by uh, two digits, like in other videos, I would stop there, add this together. But now we're going to do the exact same thing, but just add another step because we have another digit there. So I'm going to do back what I did before. I want to get rid of the numbers that I'm not working with. I don't want to confuse myself. Okay? Now some people like to erase it, uh, but again I'm just going to cross them off so I remember that I did this step. I know they're there. So I'm done with these. I'm done with the seven. And now I also need my placeholder. But this time we're going to add two zeros. And you can probably ask yourself now, what is the reason for that? The reason for that being is that this time we're not working with the tens place, we're working with the hundreds place. A hundred has two zeros at the end of it because it's the third place value. So I'm going to put two zeros to keep my place because I'm working with the hundreds. Okay, so I'm going to change colors again to show 
that we're working with the hundreds now. You of course don't have to change colors just to get the point across of the video. So we're going to do the same thing. Here we go again. Two times eight is 16. So put my six down here, and my one up here, 16. And then we're going to do two times five, which is 10, plus one is 11. And then two times three, which is six, plus one is seven. Now you'll notice we have the same digits up here, the 716 and the 716 down here, because it is the same digit. But again, it's not going to be the same value because we, here we multiplied 358 by 2, because 2 is in the ones place. And here we multiplied 358 times 200 because the 2 was in the hundreds place. And now we just do the same thing like usual. We're going to add it all together. And again, guys, please notice. The numbers are lined up, so it's easy for me to calculate at the end. Please be very careful about this. There are many steps, and it might take a long time to get the hang, the hang of it, but again, don't worry. Take your time. It'll be fine. So 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 6 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 0 plus 6 is 13. 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7. And then 2 plus 7 is 9. Now, of course, uh, be careful with this. The numbers are all squished together. And uh, if we, I was just doing a test or an exam or something, I want, would want to be very clear. So I'd probably erase this and rewrite it to make sure I have my spacing between my thousands place and my hundreds place. Or some teachers don't mind if you put the comma and that works just as well to separate uh, the two place values. So that is how you do three digit by three digit multiplication. Thank you for the recommendation to make this video. And if anybody has any other math topics that they're interested in learning about, please let me know and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.